okay guys so in this video guys we are going to discuss a creditors ledger account so please make sure that you stay tuned until the end so that you can learn something on this video so that you will be able to write your test or your examination okay let's look at this question paper they said uh, it was question four and the creditors ledger they said the following information was drawn from the accounting record of Sinka Mise traders for March 2019. Okay. And the required number one, they said that explain in detail why the balance of creditors control account must be equal to the total creditors list at the end of the month. Okay. What I can give you example why these two must be the same, guys, is because, for example, let's say there is you and your friend this side. If maybe, for example, you are giving your friend 50 rand. What you are going to record on your side, you are going to say, it, you give uh, him 50 rand. And he's going to record that he received 50 rand. Now you see that this side and this side is the same. Maybe, for example, the other day, he gave you 20 rand. You receive 20 rand. He's going to record that. He give you 20 rand. They must be the same because the transaction that we are doing, they are exactly the same. We paid 50 rand. Even that side must, uh, 50 rand must reflect. If that rand reflect, there is something wrong. We need to do accounting procedure. Just like that. Okay. So that's the reason why this must be the same. Okay. The other reason that I can write down here is because the control account A summary of creators ledger account just like that okay now 4.2 prepare the account of support ltd a creditor in the creators ledger account of the traders for the month of march 2019 okay information okay we have a date and transaction they say on the first a date is on the first and they said the balance okay they said that the balance okay this side we're gonna have a debit and this side we're gonna have credit and we're gonna have balance we have to record balance and after each and every transaction that we are going to do okay they said that the balance it was fifteen thousand six hundred at the beginning of the month and on three let's start with our transition now they said support ltd charge uh, a traders interest on overdue account remember a creditors ledger we are talking about liability liability increase on the credit and decrease on the debit in other words if we owe more money it's going to be credited if we paid money or if we get a discount we are going to debit or if we return anything that can make us not to owe our suppliers we are going to to debit because it's going to reduce liability whatever that is going to cost an increase if we buy on credit we're going to credit because it's going to increase the liability that we have very simple now because they charge us interest obvious our liability goes up okay interest on overdue amount is 260 and if we add them together it's going to give us amount of 15,860 all right then now let's go to the next transaction on the five after each and every transaction guys record the balance why now is go to this side is because we add this one plus this one is give us this one but if we write this side we're going to subtract from the previous balance okay now let's proceed issued a check number 107 to supporter ltd if we issued a check simply means that we have paid if we receive invoice we took something on credit 
is going to increase liability. Simple. Okay. Now, because we issued a check, which means that we paid and showed them a check that this is the amount that we pay, which means that check, uh, it was check number 107. Okay. We paid amount of how much? Amount of 13,500. 13,500 is going to reduce liability because we pay. In the, on the same day, we also receive a discount. Discount received. Amount is 500. Obviously, even discount is going to reduce what? A liability. Now, we have to adjust. If you say this one minus this one, you are going to get an amount. Uh, let's see. Amount of 2,000. 360 and 2360 minus this one is going to give us 1860 okay then we proceed to the next one very simple stuff received an invoice number 483 from supporter ltd for goods amounting to 14,000 subjected to a trade discount of 15 percent so in other words we are going to receive 15 percent discount okay so this is invoice is going to increase liability. Now the question is how much we owe our supplier. Obviously, it's not amount of 14,800 because we have discount of 15%. Okay. Let's write invoice. Invoice number 483. Okay. How are we going to record uh, this or how are we going to calculate this? We are going to say 14,800 and we multiply by, instead of paying 100%, we are going to pay 85%. Why? 100 minus 15 is 85%. Then we will get a amount of 12,000. It's going to increase liability because invoice, we take something on credit and we haven't yet paid. Okay? And if you add with this one, is going back now to 14,440. Our liability has increased. Now let's proceed to the next one. Forwarded the debit note. A debit note simply means that we return something. Okay. A debit note of 220 to supporter for goods returned. And the amount is 1,560. Okay. On the 13, we have a debit note number 220 we return which means that our liability is going to decrease okay it's gonna be 1510 okay so it's going to give us amount of 1560 okay which means that after that we need to calculate the balance okay so a debit note obviously guys is reducing what a liability we can't pay for something that we have returned okay then it's gonna give us amount of 12,808 okay then the last one they say supporter LTD refused to allow a discount recorded on 5 March 2019 as discount was overdue they said the discount that we give on 5 which was 500 they said no it was not allowed which means that this 500 we need to reverse it back okay which means that discount reversed on 25 okay so we reverse the 500 is going to increase liability because they said no then it's gonna give us uh, the amount of 13,308 that's how you should prepare your creditors ledger account. I hope you learned something guys and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that we can keep recording more videos so that you will be able to get more assistance when it comes to accounting or any subject that is related to accounting. I'm going to see you on the next one.